three more days, Tommy, lad, eh? Oh, you've got a stinky nappy. Shall we ask your daddy to change it, shall we, eh? Um, do you mind doing it, Mum? Uh, taxi's due here any minute and I'm not finished getting dressed yet. Taxi? Yeah, take me over to the solicitors. I'm due over there at nine. Cracking fry up, by the way, Mum. Oh, Tyler. Not exactly the doting father, is he? What do you mean? Well, he's hardly been near the lad since he's been out. He's got to adjust, hasn't he? To be in the outside world again. Do you know, to hear you talk, anybody would think he'd been held hostage in the Middle East, a prison he's just got out of. Oh, typically you, that. Have you got no feelings for what the lad's going through? Mild elation, I shouldn't wonder, the amount of compensation is due. Oh, give up. The lad's traumatised. Is it any wonder coming back to a street where his wife died? And a baby hardly knows. It'll take months for him to come to terms with it. Look, you and me have got him to give him some support to get back on his feet, not criticise. Oh. Taxi, love! On my way. As long as you bring the money, I'll bring Tommy. Uh, don't know, um, mid afternoon, about three o'clock? No, no, don't come round here. There'll be all hell to pay. Uh, meet me, meet me at the main entrance to Albert Park. Uh, three o'clock then. All right, Jeff, uh, ta-da. Oh, get you, been splashing out, have you? Well, I might as well, well, I got it. Yeah? Oh. Hey, you look just like a film star. Isn't your daddy handsome, eh? And you're going to grow up just like him. <laughs> I wouldn't say that too loud around here if I were you. Oh, I don't care. Don't care what people think. Hey, listen, do you know I've been thinking? Why don't we move? Move? Well, yeah. Now you've got compensation and before long you'll have a job and then we'll have two wages coming in so we can afford it. Suppose we would, I. Ah, oh, dear, I've always fancied a house with their windows. You know, in a little garden for our Tommy to play in. Let's just see what happens there first. Right, uh, I'm off. Hey, well, listen, I've got chops in. I thought we could have a sit-down meal, you know, family together, like. Mum, I've had enough nights in to last me a lifetime, if you don't mind. Oh, of course you have, love. I'm sorry. Yeah, you go out and enjoy yourself. I'll look after Tommy. Sure you don't mind? Oh, of course I don't. <laughs> hey, go in town, are you? Uh, just the rovers, uh, someone I'm hoping to run into. Uh. A classy looking bloke in Weatherfield. <coughs> Tucks after his father, doesn't he? Is that your Terry? Can you not see the resemblance? High cheekbones, dark, sexy eyes. Give over, he must be adopted. Yes, and what do you want? I'd uh, prefer it if she served me. Tough. What do you want? Fine. Uh, see, you've got your money then. I certainly did. Good. And I hope some of it's coming me and your mother's way after what we've done for that lad of yours. And there was me, thinking you were doing it out of the goodness of your heart. Of course we did, of course we did. It's not cheap bringing up a baby, you know. Nigh on 12 months, I know. Don't you worry. I see you and me, ma'am, right. Here. You can start by keeping a change out of that. Much. It's daughters. Yeah, well, just for a few days, love, you know. Well, will he be back in time for Christmas? Well, he loves Christmas. And Martin and the kids love having him over. It's not as if they're that close. Hiya, Kev, mate. Looking flush. I'll have to let you buy me a pint. Pleasure, Kev. Pleasure, mate. Pint for Kevin, Dad. Coming up, son. You still working at the garage? Yep. Still with Sally? Just about. I don't know. A bright lad like you. You could have made something with your life. Like you, you mean, eh? Yeah. Well, now I've got a bit of brass behind me. Sky's the limit. I'll tell you something. I certainly won't be hanging around this dump for very long. Oops. Sorry, love. Nearly tripped on your ball and chain there. <laughs> <laughs>
A couple of pints, please, Jack. Yes, lad. I think it might be better if you go and have a drink in the Queen's tonight uh, and tomorrow night, in fact, you know. Not barring me, are you, Jack? No, nothing like that. No, it, it's just because... Hold it there, Jacko. If anybody's doing any barring round here, it's me. Pint, was it, Des? Please, bet, yeah. Here yeah, I'll get this. No, thanks. Come on. I'm offering to buy you a drink. I said no, thanks. Come on. I'm offering the olive branch. You and me fighting ain't gonna bring Lisa back. Yeah. Well, I don't need you to tell me that. So come on. Season a goodwill in that. Besides, she didn't die for now. Oh, I. And how do you work that out? I went to the solicitors this morning. Collected several grand in compensation. Ignore it, Des. Just walk away. Come on, then. Come on! Walk away, Des. Did you have to do that? You might as well have that, Kev. Are no, you all right? Gotta go. Seems you're drinking on your own, son. Yes. Hey, I'm just saying it's lucky I got these in. I thought they'd look nice on the table Christmas Day, you know. Uh oh. So we're not in bed then? Oh, I couldn't get him down. I think it's because you're home, you get all excited, you know. I mean, you can try getting him down if you like. Give him here, then. Hey, I got it, daddy, then. Hey, yes. Oh, good lad. I was, uh, was thinking. I might take him out tomorrow afternoon, you know, uh, just over Albert Park. Ah, oh, did you hear that, darling? Your daddy's going to take you out tomorrow, in fact, all of his things. He's all excited. 